Hi guys, today I will show you how to model a Rubik's Cube. Now, I know what you say, you say this a Rubik's Cube, yeah, that's, that's just a cube, but in fact, I want to show you how to model each part of the cube. Actually, I want to show you how a Rubik's Cube is actually looks on inside. So, let's start with the basic cube. The Rubik's Cube has mostly uh, is made out of three parts the center pieces which are bound together the um, the edges and the corners okay let's just start our modeling and we will create those three pieces which will then duplicate duplicate them first just <coughs> What I did here was I just duplicated this cube a couple of times so I can model each part from these three three cubes. One will be the centerpiece, one will be the the edge, and the third one just as a backup one and perhaps I'll do the corner from that one. Now add a circle and rotate around x axis 90 degrees. Now grab along y and to snap it right there to the front of the cube, just hold down control. And if your cube is not is not scaled on the right side, just control shift tab to switch your snap into vertex. And now you can just hold down control and snap to the to that vertex now we'll just scale and grab the circle so we we place it about two-thirds of the height of the cube okay a little smaller and just grab it up till about that point okay the next operation that we'll do is that we will select every four vertices uh, first I just hide this cube okay you can do that by <coughs> put your mouse over the vertex and select L click L to select all the linked vertices okay now after you subdivided the the top edge of the cube twice just make a face between each four vertices okay press L and delete the the bottom vertices Okay, now we have, this is quite simple to do the top, actually this is the centerpiece of the cube. Duplicate that one. Actually before you duplicate it, just select that vertex and snap your cursor to the selected. Okay, now just select the duplicated one or duplicate that face. Period, to rotate around cursor and wrap rotate 90 degrees around the z-axis okay so as you could see now we are just placing the face that we made on all the four sides of the cube okay shift C to put your cursor in the middle okay duplicate that face again and just with scale around the x axis a uh, negative one that would put the face on the other side okay we have one more face to go to do the back one okay to do that we'll just <clears throat> as we did before just press L to select the vertices is that the mouse is over so 
select those one duplicate them and just scale on the y-axis negative one okay now as you can see we have we have some corners some edges in which the vertices are not quite are not quite so well placed and to remove them just control V and remove doubles and raise this, that distance a little bit till all the vertices merge together now we have only one object all the vertices are are merged now now you can press uh, oh yeah before that just make a face there on the top of the object we created that face will be an angon if you have a newer version of blender okay now just shift H to unhide oh sorry alt H to unhide the other objects <clears throat> okay just make sure you deselect okay hide the objects that you created and we will now model the the edge the we will just model the edge kind of the same way like we did with the with the centerpiece we'll just subdivide we'll just subdivide every actually the top and the right edge subdivide so each once and make a face again between each four vertices get okay, that vertex needed a little bit of moving and delete the bottom left vertex okay that's one side and the same thing we will just select the face we just created and duplicate it and move it to the other side do shift d to duplicate and again scale a lot, scale on the y-axis negative one now just select the top face and delete the face okay now you can just select all the top vertices actually before that you just you just do the same thing in here you remove doubles by control V and remove doubles and now you can select the top vertices and make a face between them okay this is almost done and okay as you can see these are the parts we created so far which is the cube you can see just taking taking some some shape right now as you can see that those parts have a common vertex which is this one so to separate a vertex in two or just to separate each any object in edit mode what you do is you select the vertices or the edges or the faces that you wanna separate separate 
and you press Y and that will become a separate object so that's what I will do I'll just I'll just select the center piece that we modeled the whole one with the vertex and I'll just press Y okay just make sure you press Z to select the face the vertex that are on the back side okay I'll remove the ones from the from the edge just like that and now press Y and as you can see this object is now a separate object that's quite a handy tool dy okay <laughs> okay now we have just one corner left to do and after that we'll duplicate each of the parts and arrange them as we like again grab along y and hold out control to snap it to that vertex grab on the z-axis and snap to that vertex <coughs> and the corner piece is a little bit different from the others and to model it we'll select the circle that we that we created and delete it and we need the curved part of the of one of the pieces I'll just select this one and duplicate it but as you can see there's a missing vertex right there on the bottom so I'll just select one vertice one vertice duplicate it or Y to separate it as you like just more simply duplicate it and place it right there on the x-axis snap to that point and make a face alright and now actually I need to <coughs> I need to snap it to to that vertice right there <coughs> okay unhide the cube and we'll just hide the other objects so they won't get in our way alright that's fine and the same thing in here right now we'll select the top edge subdivided and the left uh, the left edge to subdi and subdivide it okay and now just select uh, it's actually the same way to do them just select every four vertices and make a face between them also that select that vertice and and duplicate it and well, now we can make the final face just like that okay now delete that vertice right there on the right duplicate that that curved edge and actually what I forgot to, to do was to snap that cursor to that point but you could zap it to to the vertices right there on the right side of my selected item alright 
and now we just select a duplicate rotate along Z 90 degrees okay the same thing in here subdivide each edge and make a face between the edges and the uh, and uh, duplicated object again select the okay first snap your cursor to that point and now select uh, one of the circles the right one actually and rotate along Y 90 degrees okay as you can see there is a little bit of space between the last two vertexes but that's fine for the moment you could just merge them together it really doesn't matter that much the that distance okay I'll just move it a little bit just like that okay that anyway you can see you cannot see the inside of the cube so it really doesn't matter so much the preci the preci the precision preci oh sorry precision precision <laughs> I don't know how to say it. okay select the bottom edges and subdivide them and make a face between them as we did in the other ones okay as I was saying the inside of a cube is mostly so I can show you how does it look okay now actually you can you can delete the ends of the of the circle okay and make face in there okay and the last face will be between the already existing vertices of the cube as you can see that's how a corner look and unhide the other parts by alt <coughs> by alt H clicking <coughs> sorry and these are basically the three parts what is left to be done is the, the things that unite them that you know uh, that doesn't let them tear apart so I select each object by control L clicking after I've selected one of the vertices and P to separate it in another object so I have three different objects okay now I will go I start with the edge and go into edit mode okay now what you must do is actually let me just show you I make a face between those vertices for the moment Okay, so when you rotate the Rubik's Cube, you won't see an empty space in there, so you just see black because you can apply a black material to that one. Now, what I'll, I'll do next is I'll create some, something that when you rotate the cube, it won't, it won't let the, the edge piece fall apart. Okay, now uh, I'll just grab the bottom face uh, okay I grab the bottom face that part right in there and and just duplicate it okay right click to exit scale down on the y axis till you see it's about right 
also scale it a little bit down on the x-axis <coughs> and bring it to the to the front okay <coughs> okay now you can <coughs> just grab it down a little bit yeah and you can now extrude it okay extrude it till something like that maybe a little bit more all right and now extrude it again on the z-axis okay you see like the the face right there and extrude it again okay that's kind of small okay as you can see this is the system of a rubik's cube this thing holds the part from falling apart uh, actually this is as you can see it's standing in the air right now so if this would be a real piece it will f just fall down because they aren't they are not bound together but we can just let them like that because it doesn't matter so much in blender okay i'll just scale it down a little on the x-axis okay that that looks better this is almost done okay another thing i'll do is the corner and this is done by just almost the same principle like on the edge what i'll do is i'll just select one of the one of these edges in here and simply extrude them out okay and do the same thing for for each edge or for each of the three edges that we've made from the circle and on the right axis okay so pretty much this is what i'll show you on this tutorial these are the basic parts you don't need to do very much things with them just uh, the center pieces you need to unite them together all the six center pieces and just duplicate the corners and the edges and arrange them so they will be so they will make the six faces of the cube and pretty much you're done actually let me just count them uh, one two three four five six seven eight okay you need about eight corners you've got six center pieces and and 12 yeah, I guess 12 edges on a Rubik's cube okay another thing I'll show you is how are the center united they are just united by something like a cylinder that uh, that unites the opposite center centers so it unite, unites the top one with the bottom one right? as an example and just all of them together in the center okay i'll just show you how to do that on the next tutorial and this is pretty much for this part okay so you know thank you for watching so far and make sure you check the other part and i want to know i want to see what you've got with this tutorial you know what you've made perhaps you know an animation or something like that so please <coughs> sorry please comment below what you like what you didn't like and <coughs> oh sorry and what you would like to change in my next videos